Jeep is known to be the most iconic brand in the world. Many people even call SUVs as Jeep. So after six years of its stint in the Indian market, Jeep has finally entered the D-segment SUV with a three-row offering. Hello and welcome to Drive Spark. This is Bardwaj and that is the Jeep Meridian. So we are out here today in Chandigarh testing this car on and off-road. Let's get started. So if you are planning to buy the Jeep Meridian, you have two important questions that I'm going to answer. One is how is it off-road? As you can see by my muddy boot, it's already we have already done that. I'm going to be answering that question later in the video. But let me come to the most important question. How is the third row? As you can see here, I'm already cramped up. The seat is as far reclined as back and I'm, I do not have much space to move around here. So this is only suitable for children. And these are jump seats. Adults cannot sit here. And what are the other amenities that you'll get on the third row is you get a cup holder and you get a roof mounted AC vent. And you also have that large panoramic sunroof that you can, you know, it extends almost to the third row. So these are all the amenities and in one question, no, adults cannot sit here. It's best suited for children. With that, let me also highlight another point. So the second row seat, what is there? These are not on tracks, so it cannot be moved front or backwards. It can only be reclined. So there's another issue of space, which is going to happen on the third row if adults are sitting behind. So we are at the second row seat of the Jeep Meridian and as you can see here I am sitting very comfortably however I have a good uh, under thigh support but the seat itself is a little too hard for my liking especially the headrest it is a little too hard cushion it would have been better if it would have been a little softer and with that the second row seats are not on track so that you cannot expand your leg room what you get here only the front row passengers can move their seat and free up some uh, room for you however you do have a decent leg room and knee room and also head room so definitely it is a, a comfortable place to be in uh, with that you have certain amenities for the second row passengers you have the rear s event which is positioned uh, quite down low i would have liked it a little more higher up for better cooling and also you get the second portion of the panoramic sunroof is present above the uh, rear passengers you get a lot of airy feeling and light coming into it and with that you also have wide windows and a good sound system to take care of your long travels and finally you have a rear armrest with cup holders to make that journey even more peaceful. So now we are sitting on the front row seats of the Jeep Meridian. As you can see, it is a similar layout as the Compass. You get the 10.2 inch instrument cluster, 10 inch floating infotainment system. You get the similar layout of dashboard with the climate controls on uh, down below the infotainment system. You get AC vents and you get a very premium looking dash. Coming to the seats, it is well bolstered. It is electronically operated and it is ventilated with uh, several uh, levels of setting for cooling function. However, to access that ventilation, you will have to reach out to the infotainment system as there are no physical buttons to control that ventilation system which i feel is a miss if you want to know more details and features about this we will uh, display a features list on this jeep meridian on the screen right now you can have a look at it With that, let me speak about the steering. So you get a chunky steering wheel which has mounted controls right. You have uh, controls for the uh, cruise control. Left, you have the controls to uh, choose the instrument cluster layout. You have several options with that. And you have certain controls at the back of the steering wheel for uh, media controls. With that, let us get to the heart of the matter. That is the powertrain. This Jeep Meridian will be offered as of now with a single 2-liter diesel engine which is same as the Compass. So you get 168 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque. It is either mated to a 6-speed manual transmission or a 9-speed automatic torque converter unit that you see here. Now this version what we are sitting in is the 4 into 4. You also have the 4 into 2 version. We have been doing quite a lot of off-roading in Chandigarh. We have been already we have already ridden on road and uh, we have experienced the performance of the Meridian on road. Now we are experiencing it off-road. In short, what I want to tell you is this is a three-row SUV which can definitely take a lot of bashing and a very good off-roading terrain. And you have a lot of freedom when it comes to off-roading and Jeep 
Meridian supports you with various modes. You have four wheel lock, you have, you have hill descent control and a lot of other off-road stuff which will make driving this large SUV a breeze on off-road. However, coming back to the on-road performance of this Jeep Meridian where most of you would like to use it. So as an urban car, you have a light steering wheel, you get a very peaky power delivery lower down the RPM but on the mid-range it is quite adequate to handle those uh, cruising speeds above uh, triple digit speeds and this gearbox certainly is uh, one of a kind however as being a torque converter unit it is at time a little sluggish with the gears but if you mash the throttle it'll drop a gear and give you all the power that you need to do some quick overtakes or a performance or sporty driving next coming to the suspension and the brakes jeep has got the suspension tuning on point at low speeds the jeep meridian handles the small potholes or the bumps very well and it does so gracefully even on higher speeds as well so i think the best part of the jeep meridian is the suspension i really like it and coming to the braking jeep has given the meridian all four disc brakes on all four wheels the braking performance is on point you get a good bite and a good progression as well so this was our take on the all new jeep meridian if you are looking for a hardcore off-roader three-row suv this certainly is a choice for you However, if you are looking for a practical three-row SUV, you would certainly have to judge that yourself by visiting the nearest Jeep showroom. What did you think about this car? Please do mention them in the comments below. Like and share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to DriveSpark already, hit that subscribe button. This is Bhardwaj signing off. Stay safe and drive safe.